Hey, Star Wars fans and Black Series action figure collectors with another one. As I'm starting to sort of just catch up sporadically on the last couple of waves of both Black Series and Vintage, picked up the fourth sister Inquisitor today. Um, yeah, definitely one I've been looking forward to grabbing. It's just, for some reason, it's just been super, super delayed. It was, um, I don't know, I feel like it was, it would have been better slated to come out earlier with the rest of them rest of the Inquisitors, but they obviously decided to hold back on this one for a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's a good one. Uh, just plain, plain old packaging. Cannot wait to go back to the windows. It's going to look so much better. Pierre, yeah, this is number 12. She stands at about 5.7 inches, or 14.5 centimetres. For you that run on metric like us. So I'm going to move the box to the side. We'll get a look at the figure. And uh, yeah, she's a good one. It's uh, it came come out very nicely, very much worth the wait. Nice head sculpt. I like the uh, sort of uniformity between all the Inquisitors. The side from I don't know the fifth brother's got a little bit of grey, um, but yeah, they're sort of going between that sort of grey, black, and that sort of red. Obviously, with the lightsabers being the big red bit there. <laughs> nice looking sculpt on the head. It's got those four little sort of tendrils coming out of the back. I like the, the sort of head mask, I guess. I wonder whether she does wear uh, like a helmet that covers the face as well. It's kind of what I liked about... Um, the second sister from Jedi Fallen Order, she wore a mask to sort of conceal her identity a little bit. Sort of makes them a little bit more, um, you know, mysterious, I guess. Unrecognisable. Being that they are ex-Jedi in most cases. So you're really digging this one's outfit. I think it looks really nice. It's got the Imperial Cog on each arm. It does come with her lightsaber, which is not dissimilar to the Grand Inquisitors. This is a little bit more black. Might even be a slightly different, different build, but very similar. It does have these two pins, which let's pop out the blades because they are removable. She does have a couple of pins on the back, right there, where you can sort of slot that in. That just sort of pegs in really nicely. I think that's a really cool look. If you're just having the Inquisitors sort of hanging out on the uh, in the Inquisitor Fortress, I do like the uh, the patterns on the the sculpting on the sort of skirt. I guess um, that looks really nice. The sort of the deep red sort of edging on the hem coming down the front there too. It's a nice bit of colour just to break it up a little bit. There's a nice silver detail there on the belt. A little bit of red and silver there on that sort of particular particular part of the belt. For most like pretty standard sort of black boots. They do look good though. Do like the two little things on each shoulder, the two little spikes on each shoulder. There's just something cool about that. I'm not sure what it is. So yeah, this is the, uh, I guess the last Inquisitor from Kenobi, from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And fifth overall. So we've had all four Inquisitors including the Grand Inquisitor, uh, Reva, the, the third sister, and the fifth brother. And we've also had the second sister from the Jedi Fallen Order, which is apparently getting a re-release. So hopefully with uh, Trilla's head underneath, I think that would be cool as a swap out option. So it was revealed there would be pipeline figures in the Black Series, as well as Cal Kestis in a um, Inquisitor outfit.
which was just a bonus skin in the game for Fallen Order. But yeah, glad to have picked picked up the fourth sister. She does look good. I do like sort of aliens and characters that sort of break up from the just the sort of generic humans all the time. I do like a little bit of little bit of diversity in my Star Wars toys. And uh, yeah, we're we're about to get another Inquisitor in the Ahsoka series too. So I really like the sort of the, the sort of almost like a, a shell on the back of the helmet there. I think that looks really nice. But it almost looks like a mask could be attached to the front. But who knows? So there she is, the fourth sister. Let's arm her up again before we uh, sign out. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this one. Just a few reviews on this one. I was just like, yep, yeah, that's going to be my next one to get. Um, almost grabbed another vintage figure today. I thought, oh, that can, that can wait. But um, I've got a bunch of figures to review this week. Just playing a little bit of catch up from figures of the last few months and uh, pretty eager to share them and talk about them a bit. So, there she is, fourth sister inquisitor. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up, it definitely helps the channel out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.